Video Magnifiers Part 2, Handheld Camera Models, Electronic Pocket Models, and Digital Imaging Systems. Video magnifiers allow individuals with low vision to place text, graphics, or even objects under a video camera and then have the selected image enlarged and displayed on an electronic viewing screen such as a computer monitor or standard television. A woman enlarges the image of a desktop calculator. There are six basic types of video magnifiers. Desktop models, flex arm camera models, head mounted display models, handheld camera to TV models, a wide variety of portable electronic pocket models, and digital imaging systems. In this segment we'll look at the handheld camera models, the portable electronic pocket models, and the digital imaging systems. Portable video magnifiers such as the ones demonstrated in this section of the video use a handheld camera that is connected to a display such as a TV or computer monitor. The unit is similar to a mouse, a bit larger but still fitting within the palm of the user's hand. The range of magnification for these models is determined by the size of the TV or monitor to which they are connected. They are usually provided with a convenient carrying case and operate off rechargeable batteries. This self-contained display is connected to a handheld camera that can be placed over the text or images that the viewer wishes to view. The display unit, separate from the handheld camera, is box-like, about 5 inches by 7 inches, and features a small screen and two control knobs below. This portable unit also offers users the option of viewing in high contrast, positive and negative black and white images or a false color mode. Many users find it easier to read text in a certain color combination, such as yellow text on a black background, and they can choose from a variety of text and background colors. Due to the expense of full video magnifiers, which can cost between $2,000 and $3,500, some users prefer less expensive systems that connect directly to a standard television. With these systems, users move a handheld camera over the text or image they wish to have enlarged. Compared to their bigger cousins, these systems offer fewer features for adjusting magnification size and manipulating displayed images, but they do balance portability and price. Users can easily pack up the camera and take it to any location where a television or monitor is available, connect the camera to the display, and begin to read. The user places the camera in a sturdy carrying case. He also displays an RF unit auto switch a 2 by 2 inch connector. The handheld camera to TV models start at around $100 and go up to about $1,000. One of the more recent developments in this field is the introduction of small lightweight electronic pocket magnifiers shown here. They are generally small enough to fit in a coat pocket or purse. These devices are handheld and provide a smaller range of magnification for text and images placed under the lens. The display unit is combined with the camera. Its screen is almost as large as the unit itself, about 3 inches by 4 inches. A rechargeable battery provides the power for both the magnification and the additional light needed for enlargement. As with other devices, many users will prefer dark text on a light background or light text on a dark background. And these portable devices also offer a feature that provides high contrast, positive and negative black and white images. One additional feature offered by these devices is a freeze frame option that allows the user to basically take a picture of the desired object or text. The image can then be viewed without having to hold the unit directly over the target. A user lifts the unit off the material being enlarged. The enlarged image remains on the unit's screen. The flexibility of portable and pocket systems allow them to be used in many different locations. When reading longer passages, some users may find it uncomfortable to accurately manipulate the camera over the text or image to be enlarged. However, this difficulty is outweighed by the ease with which you can take this device to any location and read or view items that you would not otherwise be able to see. Users enlarge a vitamin bottle label a page of text, and a phone book. This category of video magnifiers has grown so rapidly that it can now be divided into subcategories, large, medium, and small. 
The units shown here fall into the large category. They offer a larger viewing screen and the ability to be used for short writing tasks, such as writing a check or completing short answer questions. One unit scans a sheet while its enlarged image is displayed on a screen that angles up from the scanner portion. Another smaller unit scans from about two inches away, allowing a user to sign a check or fill in a form. These video magnifiers are larger and heavier than others in this category and are not quite as easily transported. The first models in this category to be produced can be placed in the middle-sized subcategory. This subcategory has the largest number of models available from a variety of manufacturers. Some of these units offer a fold-out handle for easier one-handed use. When selecting an electronic pocket model video magnifier, the user will want to determine if they prefer a device with the camera in the center of the unit or one that has the camera at the left or right end of the unit, as shown here. One additional feature that has been added to some models is distance viewing. When viewing highly magnified images of items at a distance, it can be difficult for some users to hold the unit still. This can result in a shaky image that may not be useful, but with patience and appropriate training, most individuals can find viewing tasks in which this feature can be very helpful. In an effort to make these devices even more portable, some manufacturers have produced models that fall into the small subcategory, measuring about 4.5 inches by 3 inches. These units are truly pocketable while providing a very useful tool for spot reading tasks. The price range for the electronic pocket models is $200 to $2,000. At the time of this filming, the most recent development in video magnification systems is a unit that uses a digital camera to take a picture of the text or other material placed under the camera. The image is then enlarged and displayed on the unit's flat panel LCD monitor as demonstrated in this scene. The user has the standard options for size, color, and positive negative image viewing as with earlier models. The added advantage of this newer technology is that the user does not have to manipulate the viewing material or the XY table. The user can choose to view the digital image in either a ticker tape-like mode with one line of text scrolling across the screen or in a prompter mode where lines of text scroll up the screen. The unit is housed in a briefcase-like housing measuring approximately 18 inches by 11 inches by 5 inches with an integrated carrying handle the unit easily unfolds and sets up for reading. The flat panel viewing area folds up against the rest of the unit. The portability of this unit and the ease of reading help justify its $3,995 price tag. Additional advances in this model category have begun to integrate the video magnifier with the personal computer. The system shown here connects to a laptop or desktop computer and uses the computer's monitor for its display. These systems provide the user with several different viewing modes. The camera is within a small box on a narrow pole that can be attached to the edge of a desk. First, the system can display an image in the same way as a desktop video magnifier by placing the material to be viewed directly under the camera and physically moving it around. These systems generally do not have an XY table Thus, this approach is not practical for continuous text reading, but it works well for spot reading and some writing tasks. A second option allows the user to navigate around the image using the arrow keys of the computer keyboard. This may not be efficient for reading lengthy passages, but it works well for viewing graphical information such as maps and charts. A user plugs a USB cable into a laptop. Then he taps on a keyboard and also readjusts the camera manually. The third viewing option reformats the image and displays it on the screen in a way that does not require the user to move the image around. It uses a feature similar to word wrap found in computer word processing programs. When the user selects the magnification level for the text to be viewed, the display is adjusted in a way such that if a word is too long to fit onto a line, the entire word is moved down to the next line. This is identical to the prompter mode described above. Separate words are highlighted as the user operates this model. 
This display mode cannot show graphical information and has some difficulty displaying text on colored backgrounds. If the user chooses, this system can use its optical character recognition software to convert this image of text into truly editable text that can be saved as a text file. This file can then be opened in a word processing program and printed on paper in the user's desired font and point size for those who might prefer to have a hard copy of the information. With the touch of a key on a keyboard, a user reduces the point size of a document. One additional feature of this digital imaging system is the use of synthesized speech. As in the other modes described previously, the text can be displayed on the screen in the user's desired font, point size, polarity, light on dark, dark on light, and color combination. This final mode of operation allows the user to view the text and hear it spoken via synthesized speech, while each word is highlighted as it is spoken. This combination of seeing the text and hearing it spoken simultaneously becomes a very powerful reading and learning tool for many individuals. Services provides books and magazines. A second camera can be added to this system to provide the user with a distance viewing option. The second camera can be rotated to display information on a black, white board, an overhead projector, a computer projector, or simply to view a presentation or demonstration. The second camera, also a small box, is adjusted on the narrow pole connecting the cameras to the laptop. Models of video magnifiers that fall into the digital imaging system category combine the power of high quality optics with the power of a personal computer. As this technology further develops, we can expect to see units that offer the full features of a desktop model in a truly portable package. Another user positions a camera mounted on a curved holder attached to a U-shaped stand positioned next to a laptop. Regardless of the task to be completed, most users will be able to find a video magnifier that meets their needs. Copyright 2012, American Foundation for the Blind. All rights reserved.